um, shoot, I, I didn't practice an intro for this one. <laughs> uh, here's my mug that I'm using. My girlfriend got it in Vegas, so that's fun. Good morning, and welcome back to Coffee with Santi. Today, it's officially the start of the new year. So, Happy New Year, everybody, um, and Happy New Decade. It's 2020, that's good fun. That sounds like a year that shouldn't exist. I thought today I would talk a little bit about New Year's resolutions, which is a thing that I have been doing basically since I've had a YouTube channel. I think one of the first uh, videos I ever made is called like, Happy New Year, Fro People. Hey people, what's up, it's Afro Man. Um, it is currently 12:20. Uh, AM on January 1st of 2012. Um, just doing a quick thing. Uh, it's not an official video, just, you know, throwing it out there. I just want to wish everyone a happy new year. I uh, hope 2012 will be way better than 2011 was. Um, it was a great year for me. Uh, my first year as a YouTuber. Um, I got up to nine subscribers this year. That's awesome for me. It's a great achievement. Um, I'll put out more videos, they're getting better and better, and uh, 2012 is going to be way better than 2011 was, so stay tuned. I love your faces, I love you guys, see you later. But yeah, so I, I, always, I always like to talk about the new year, and specifically sort of New Year's resolutions, because I think it's such an interesting, interesting time. Um, and one of the things that I think is interesting is that um, I always make like a list of New Year's resolutions, but sometimes I follow them, sometimes I don't. And I know it's kind of a phenomenon of like everybody seems to kind of just ignore their New Year's resolutions, which is like, I don't know if there's, some, I've read articles and things, and I was originally going to read an article, but that seemed kind of boring to me. So um, I don't quite know why people don't. I think it's because you have all this motivation at the beginning of the year, because it's like, oh, the new year, I'm going to follow all my new resolutions. I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to do whatever. But like that momentum isn't going to carry you through necessarily, like forming a resolution based on sort of this vague concept, this vague you know, energy isn't uh, sustainable, and I feel like if you're gonna make like a New Year's resolution, then your New Year's resolution should sort of be like grounded in a thing that you already have the motivation to do. Like, if you want to lose weight, for example, you kind of have to have reasons beyond just like, oh, it's the new year and it's time to lose weight. Like, if you're like, oh, I want to, you know, look good in my wedding dress, or you're like, oh, I'm starting a new job and all my business clothes don't fit or, you know, something like that. That I feel like is a more grounded way to make them. I did make a list of New Year's resolutions. Um, I have this fun little book that I got for Christmas that i kind of been writing things down in and I wrote a list of resolutions. And one of the things that I've noticed that often helps me, I make sort of smaller resolutions, ones that are easy to follow and that I would, you know, sort of achieve within relative distance of like the start of the new year and then I have ones that kind of extend the whole year and then alongside that I have sort of vaguer resolutions that don't necessarily have like set goals but then I also have ones that have specific details to them so I always find it helps to kind of have these little little resolutions that you can kind of you achieve really quickly and then that kind of drives you to kind of do the rest of them. I also like to have vague ones in there alongside the more specific ones because I don't like to, you know, put my my whole year in sort of a rigid structure that I have to follow. I kind of like to give myself some room to mess around with my resolutions and change them as the year goes on. So I kind of make them vague. So instead of, you know, I'm going to read one book every week for the rest of the year, I kind of will make like, I'm going to read more. I, I don't want to like restrict myself or create a uh, uh, a goal that I'm inevitably gonna not do and then that's gonna cause me discomfort so resolutions tricky thing a very tricky thing one thing I've also noticed is that it sounds counterintuitive but sometimes it helps to like not share them with other people and I think the reason for that is um, I think sometimes just by sharing sort of your goals or your resolutions or sort of getting positive feedback even though you haven't really done anything yet so if you're like 
oh, I'm gonna lose weight this year, I sign up for a gym. Well, I mean, all you've really done is sign up for a gym, but now people are kind of praising you for like, oh, you're gonna lose weight. On the one hand, like they can kind of hold you accountable, but what I've found is that it doesn't really matter if people hold you accountable. Like if you're not gonna do something, you're not gonna do something. So I feel like sometimes just having the internal um, goal and like knowing it in your heart, maybe writing it down somewhere, that's better than be, going to everyone and be like, I'm gonna lose weight this year because it's sort of like, everyone's like, hey, good for you. And then you feel good inside and sort of that emotion that was driving you to lose weight in the first place has a temporary kind of salve to it. And then inevitably the discomfort's gonna come back, but you're gonna have lost the motivation. So those are my, my tips for resolutions, New Year's resolutions. I would say if you have one, share it in the comments, but uh, don't do that based on my advice. Maybe share a resolution that you have achieved in the comments down below because it's fun to talk to people. Fun stuff. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful new year full of goals that you achieve and things that you see and new places you travel to. Happy New Year, fro people. I hate that. <laughs>